All right, so we are going to be creating this cute little rainbow spider, a uh, little spider web with a little rainbow behind him just to celebrate Halloween week because this is the week of Halloween. So this is just going to be a cute, simple little project. You are going to be using cool little paint sticks today, and I'm going to show you how to use these, and then you will need a black marker, and that's all you'll need today. So you'll have a piece of paper that looks like this. Make sure it is hot dog, not a hamburger. We want the spider to be hanging down, so we want it, we want it hot dog style. All right, so you are going to be using these really cool uh, paint sticks. And what you're going to do, you're going to choose six colors. Actually, there are six, so you can use all six colors if you want. There's six colors. You're going to choose six colors. You can put it in whatever order you want. It doesn't matter. You can do it however you want. And you are going to make just some little rainbow arches coming down from the top of the page. Now, this is important. These little sticks have like a little cotton top. So when you press, you're actually going to release the paint. So what you don't want is to sit here and just press, 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 because if you do that, then you're just going to get a big gloppy mess. So you want to make sure that you gently press, and you're just going to go down your page. Like you want to press, you got to press a little bit hard to get the, the paint to come out. Okay, and you're just going to do a little arch. You don't want to go all the way down the paper. Make sure you have enough paint. If you don't have enough paint, that just means you need to press a little bit harder. We're going to put the lid back on. And now I'm going to choose another color. Maybe I want orange. I'm going to press till I get another really pretty rainbow arch. Maybe I want some yellow here. You can do the colors of the rainbow in order if you'd like. Now, if it starts getting a little scratchy, that just means you need to press a little bit harder. Yellow, maybe I want some green. Perfect. Maybe I want some blue. If you get white in between there, then just go over it, okay? You don't want any white to show through. And then maybe I want some purple. Perfect. You want to go back over it? You can. So you should have something that looks about like this. I thought these were just really cool, so I wanted to give you a chance to use your little paint sticks. We'll be using them for other things. All right, so now you're going to get your little black marker and we're going to create this web, okay? So what you're going to do is we are simply going to take right here at the top and we're going to draw a line, not all the way to the end, maybe just about halfway, okay? And then we're going to come down the side and we're going to draw just about maybe halfway. You don't want to go all the way down. You just want like this little upside down L. All right, then we're going to put one right down the center. And then we're going to half this V. Does everyone see this V right here? We're going to half that V. And then everybody see this V? We're going to half this V. Perfect. Now we are going to draw the web. And this is important. When we are doing this, we're doing rainbow arches, not U's. We actually want the curves to go toward the center of the web. So what we're going to do, let's start right down here at the bottom, and we're going to do like rainbow arches. But you have to make sure that they're connected. If I put a rainbow arch here, I have to put a rainbow arch in the same place on the next one, and we're going to go all the way across. Perfect. I'm going to come up just a little bit. I'm going to do another rainbow arch, rainbow arch, rainbow arch, rainbow arch, rainbow arch. See how the curves go towards the center, my little curves. Rainbow, 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 rainbow. I'm even doing my little edges right there. And maybe I want to do it one more time. You don't want too many of these. 
just make sure that they're together. If I do one here, I have to do it in the same place all the way across. And I like that. All right, so that's going to be my spider web. Now I've got to pick one of these that I want my spider to come off of. And I think I want my spider to just come straight off of here. So I'm going to pull this down to about halfway. Perfect. All right, so now... I am going to do spider eyes first. So I want two circles just like this right below your little line. Then we're going to add this oval. We're going to do an oval around it. And we're going to fill it in. Perfect. That way I've got little spider eyes. You should have little spider eyes. If you want to add tiny little, tiny little pupil in there, you can just add a little dot inside the spider eyes. Now, we know that spiders have eight legs, so I'm going to need to put four legs on this side and four legs on this side. But this is what we're going to do. We're going to actually, we're going to come up to the top, we're going to put a leg, we're going to go out, and then we're going to do a little bit. We're going to have his little foot go down, just like that. Another one, foot go down. That's two, foot go down, and one more. I think I've got room right here. I think I'm going to put it right here. So you want four on one side. You're going to do the same thing. Go across, go down. I want his little foot to go down. One, two, three, four. Perfect. And now I've got my own little, and if you... You want to make sure you connect him to that line. Okay, perfect. And now I've got my own little rainbow spider web. Perfect. You can take these home today.